if you want to become a paid professional photographer, you have to follow very specific steps. And today I'm going to simplify everything for you so you can stop feeling overwhelmed and start working towards this incredible career starting from today. So you won't have any excuse anymore because this is a very simple, actionable plan that you're gonna be able to follow from today and it works. It doesn't matter that you are just a beginner because this is how I made it in London many years ago and there is a lot of competition in London with other photographers. So I'm very confident if you follow what I'm gonna tell you today, you're gonna be able to get paid photography work. Even if it's a little at the beginning, because I know depending on your level, it's gonna be different, okay? But this is what you have to do in order to make it happen. So the first thing I want to talk about is the gear. You have to choose the gear first. So, so many of you keep asking me, what about shooting with the phone? I totally understand if you cannot afford a camera yet or you don't want to buy one yet. With the phone, you may not be able to shoot big campaigns because big campaigns and big brands, they ask you for quality and proper raw files. I know the iPhone shoot raw, but it's not the same. I tried it. There is nothing like a camera, okay? <laughs> But with the phone, you can already learn a lot. You can start learning framing, composition, you can train your eye and you can get paid because thanks to social media, so much work is done with the iPhone or with the phone you may have because nowadays every smartphone, it's incredible. The quality for video and for photography as well. I do have friends here in Bali that work just with the phone because it's all you need to do Instagram Reels, TikToks and photos for the brands. So don't get discouraged if you cannot afford a camera yet, because with the phone, if you target clients for social media, you can do everything you want and they're gonna pay you for the job, okay? With the camera, you're gonna be able to get more clients and point way higher, obviously. But with the phone, you're gonna start getting paid. And regarding camera, if you already have a camera, that's perfect because you can already point even higher if you like. You're gonna have more flexibility to work with clients. But if you are yet to choose a camera, don't focus on brands because all brands nowadays are amazing, okay? So just focus on your needs because your needs are very different to mine that I've been in the industry for many years. I do video, I do photo. So in all my videos on YouTube, you're gonna see that I always recommend the gear depending on your needs or mine. We have different needs. So that's why you don't have to listen to any YouTuber. You have to listen to them and then make your own decisions based on your needs, not everyone you are watching. So this is the best advice I can give you. It's very tricky, but you have to listen to your needs of the time. But regardless if you are shooting with a camera or with a phone, you're gonna be able to make money from the beginning. And once you pick your gear of choice, we're gonna go to the fun part which is selecting your photography niche. I do have a video on my channel helping you choose your photography niche. So please go check it out later. I'm gonna link it somewhere here because it's going to help you a lot. But I always tell you to don't focus on just one niche unless when you start, because it takes years to discover what you really like. And I always encourage you to experiment with many of them because you're gonna get better as a photographer, because you're gonna be versatile and be able to be more knowledgeable about your camera and technique. And also because you're gonna be able to get more clients. But as a beginner, it's good to try to pick one or two main ones so your potential clients don't get confused when they look at your website, okay? Because this is such a beginner mistake, shooting a lot, and then the client is like, okay, you are good at what exactly? Because I have a mix here, and I don't know what you are doing. <laughs> so you don't want that. So please check my website as a reference to help you design yours, because as you can tell in my website, you can see that mainly I'm a creative portrait photographer, and this is my main niche, the thing I love the most doing, but I love shooting travel photography and I also love shooting lifestyle so I have it on my website very well classified it's very clean so the client can see right away your main photography niche but then they can see you can help them with more niches as well so this is how I encourage you to start your photography career you are free to do whatever of course if you know which niche you want to shoot and it's just one that's totally fine. I'm here to tell you that you want to shoot within more niches, like I do because I love photography, you can do it, but you just have to be organized. And once you know your photography niche or niches, you have to build a photography portfolio. You have no idea.
<laughs> who much uncertain recording today because it's like 30 degrees here in Bali, but it's like, I don't know, 90% humidity. I feel like I'm in a sauna right now or in a steam room. Anyway, <laughs> the next step would be, as I said, to build a portfolio. Instagram is not your portfolio. If you follow me for a very long time, I always tell you this and I will never get tired of saying this because everyone is very lazy. Many people want to become a professional photographer and they don't want to build a website. You want to be professional or not? <laughs> Instagram is very useful, super useful for many things I'm going to explain later, but you need a website. First of all, you're going to have a professional email. You're going to have your own branding. And this is the way you have to approach a client for them to take you seriously. So please make a website because they are ridiculously cheap nowadays. When I started, I don't want to tell you how much money I spent in websites. <laughs> now they are very cheap and they are very simple to do. You don't even need to know about web design or graphic design. You pick a platform, you choose a template and you swap the photos and the text. That's it. Don't procrastinate because once you start building it, you're going to realize it's easier than you think. So the website I use is Squarespace. I've never been sponsored by them. I'm quite offended, to be honest, <laughs> because it's been many years I recommend it because I personally love it. It's what I'm using and I do have my portfolio. And then I built as well a beautiful photography blog. So please check it out if you like, because I post from time to time over there. And then I built my own shop as well. I sell my own Lightroom preset. So if you want to level up your editing, you can check them out and you can get my editing style over there. And this is something you can do as well. You can do all of this when you grow as a photographer. So pick a platform. I don't mind which one, because all of them are quite good nowadays. And if you want to try Squarespace, I'm going to link a free trial below. You can grab it right now. Now, start building your website to see how you feel about the Squarespace. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Choose another platform. But please don't procrastinate about this and build a website. But obviously, to build a website, you need to get photos for your portfolio first. This is a question that everyone is asking me on Instagram. Laura, what do I put on my website or in my portfolio if I don't have photography clients. It's very simple. You don't need to build a portfolio with client work because as you said, you don't have clients yet. The only thing you have to do is get portfolios within the niches you want to target. So I'm gonna explain how. So if you're a portrait photographer or fashion photographer, use friends or family as models. You can even borrow clothing from fashion brands around your house if you like. Just think about collaborate with people to build a nice portfolio and you can use friends and family and you don't have to spend money and you're gonna be able to have a portfolio within that niche. But what if you want to be a sports photographer? You just have to attend sports events in your area. You can go to a swimming competition or to a football match or I don't know, any event. You can even email the event promoter and offer your services for free. And you're gonna be able to network, which is key. People are gonna see you with your camera and this is very beneficial because everyone needs photos nowadays. So you're gonna be networking and building a portfolio within the sports industry, let's say. Product photography is very profitable nowadays because of e-commerce and new brands being born every single day. And I do have a video explaining how you can make money with product photography from the comfort of your home. And I'm gonna link it somewhere here. And in that video, I do say that you can build a portfolio with product photography at home with your own products. I'm sure you have a phone or you have a watch or you have jewelry. Just shoot products for free at home and experiment and the ones you like, put them on the website. And nobody needs to know that wasn't client work. Clients don't care if you were paid or not. They care about the quality of the photo because the client gonna see the photo and then gonna think, okay, this is the quality I want for my own products. So this goes for every niche, Real estate as well, same thing. You can go to any real estate agency and ask them to shoot a couple of places, choose beautiful ones because you're gonna do it for free. So they're gonna be lucky to have you. And then you can get a nice portfolio with a beautiful location for free. And just then, when you have a beautiful website with a beautiful portfolio within the niche you want, you have to go to the next step, which is building a client database. Let me tell you that now it's easier than ever to build a client database because everyone is online. 
everyone is in social media, everyone has Instagram, which is my favorite way to target clients. And you're gonna be able to go into the rabbit hole of Instagram and browsing clients you want to work with, freelancers, brands, you name it. And then you can collect their emails because they have their email in their bio normally. So this is one way to do it, but I do have a video where I explain how to find clients regardless of your level of photography. And I'm going to link it somewhere here for you to check it out because I go more in depth about how you can find them. But I highly recommend you to build a client database first before contacting anyone because you're gonna be able to be more organized. And then when you have that beautiful client database with your portfolio ready, your website ready, your photos shining through, that's when you start pitching clients. If you are just starting, you can rely on social media because probably you're not gonna have many followers and you cannot rely on people to find you. How the hell are they gonna find you if nobody knows you? So you have to pitch clients and I get it. It's very hard because you don't know what to write in the email. You don't know how to look professional and not spammy and robotic. This happened to me all the time. I was pitching clients a lot in London and I didn't have any response at the beginning because I just didn't know how to approach them. But then practicing and practicing, I managed to reach the perfection with my emails and people started to get back to me and I started to get clients. In London, I was pitching emails every single day and this is how I made it happen. I reached a point when I didn't need to promote myself or pitch emails because people were coming to me. So I want you to experience the same thing. To help you out, I'm gonna link below a free email template that you can start using. And I explain as well how you have to structure your emails to get clients. I did it long time ago, but maybe you don't have it yet and you are new here. So go check it out because it's free and you can download it and it's gonna help you. And I think it's time for me to reveal this big announcement, which is the creation of my first photography course. You may know this already because I've been working on it for a very long time, but I keep adding more and more things because this course is the only thing you need to get paid photography clients. I made things super easy for you because in the course, I include all my email templates to pitch clients, the ones that work, because the one I put for free is gonna help you a lot, okay? It's generic and it's gonna help you. But I'm gonna include in this course my exact pitching emails for portrait photography work, for product photography work, for my artist press shots, everything I use, I linked it there so you have exactly what I write to my clients. Then I also include media kits already done for you and designed very beautifully and they are fully customizable. So you just have to swap your photos and the text. And a part of giving you everything ready, I also tell you in some of the lessons how you have to build your media kit. So you can build your own as well if you like and you want to do a new one from the scratch. I include everything you need to know, also how you have to price your photography work from beginner to pro. And I tell you negotiation skills with clients and this is something you have to master because this is the most important thing for you to get paid work. Otherwise, you're gonna be back and forth and you're not gonna get paid. So these are many more things as well I'm going to include in that course, like how to build the client database step by step. Everything is built, my email templates, my media kits for you, uh, the lessons are recorded, but now I'm editing the course. I don't know exactly when I'm going to release it, but probably before summer, but I'm going to do a pre-sell for just one week with a 40% off. So please, if you want to get this discount, sign up to my free newsletter and you're going to be able to be the first one to know about the release of the course and grab the course with a 40% discount. I'm going to put the link below and also the newsletter. Many people are scared of newsletters. Guys, I write the newsletters myself and I cannot spam you. <laughs> I don't have time for it. I will send one, maximum two per month, but in the newsletter, I give you even more value with more photography tips. I tell you updates about my YouTube videos, about my private community, and you have always exclusive discounts that you cannot find anywhere else on photography gear. You may need. With this roadmap, I just told you, you're gonna be able to have an incredible base to start getting paid. Let me know. How is it going in the comments below? I always try to reply to every single comment, even though sometimes it's hard, so bear with me. This channel and this community is growing a lot, thanks to you. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Big love from Bali.